Hello, Kevin, okay, gente. My name is Kevin, and welcome to my dungeon. Today's video starts off a series that's going to be all about revenge. Almost two years ago to the date, I went on my first multi day bike packing trip. It was a fantastic experience. I got to meet some awesome new people, but my bike broke. If you've been following along for a while, you'll know that I used to have a teal version of the Specialized Diverge, and now mine is black. And that is because two years ago, doing the Tour de Schwamagon up in Wisconsin, my bike broke after day one. Now there was a squeak for a while on the bike. We were trying to figure out what it was, and there was probably something that was wrong with the bike internally that I got it from the manufacturer that way. But Schwamagon is the thing that actually put the nail in the coffin and broke the bike, not allowing me to finish the trip. So this weekend is going to be all about getting revenge on the Tour de Schwamagon. But before we get any revenge on anything, I'm gonna take you through how I pack my bike for a bike packing trip. All right, starting off with the front of the bike, I'm going to pack the main front bag and then hop into the accessory pouch because it's just easier when this is solid to then pack this. First thing that goes in is going to be all the way at the other edge. I have that side already rolled up. It's going to be my cook kit. So this is my stove, my pot, and then my fuel canister. Normally I have a small one that can fit inside of here, but this isn't going too far and I have this one at home that's full, so I want to use this. The reason I put it all the way at the end is because then if I do want to cook, it's the first thing that's I can reach and access, and it just makes it easier to not have to open up the entire bag just to grab my stuff to cook. Then, what's going to be in the middle of the bag is my clothes while at camp. So I just have a shirt, some shorts, a buff that I sleep in, and then an extra pair of socks. I shouldn't need that until I get to camp, so that's why I'm okay with that being in the middle of the bag. Next then, even further in the middle is going to be all the tools. I hopefully shouldn't need this at all on the trip, so that's why I'm trying to position it absolutely in the middle of the bag, because then I can access stuff from either side, and this doesn't have to move. Next up is a big bag of food. This should be all the food and snacks that I need for the two and a half day, three day trip. At this point, we're reaching the edge, which is what I want. There we go. Push that in there, nice and nice. Then the last thing that's probably gonna go curved Right around the food like this is going to be the tortillas for lunch. Flour tortillas are your friend because the corn ones get completely mashed up and I usually squish up my tortillas pretty well. Front bag, all packed up, solid. Now we'll move on to this front accessory pouch. This is where I keep things that I'm gonna want to use often and in a hurry. Poop kit and accessories, toothbrush, toothpaste, some Tylenol, Advil, all that good stuff. First aid kit is right next to it. Water filtration system. Then I've got a little bit of extra space in case nothing, in case something doesn't fit on the other side. So we'll leave that open for now, but move on to another part of the bike. All right, so middle of the bike, I always put snacks in some food pouches here because these bags from Mapadura are awesome to just open up really easily, grab whatever you want in there, and then close them up one-handed while riding. So this is full of snacks already. Then here in the middle, I'm going to put my headlamp, because when I need that, it's nice to just have it super handy. 
going to put my heart rate monitor for now and that's all I'll keep it at night as well. But while I'm riding during the day, obviously I'll have it on and then I'm going to put the camera, which is recording right now, in here as well while I'm riding, just because that's the closest, easiest way for me to access it. We now close that bad boy up. Now head into the middle of the pack. Here's where I store some extra spokes. My knife to spread some butter on and peanut butter and Nutella on tortillas. I'm gonna put in, this is a flat extra cup. That on this side. And then my battery pack. So this is a nice little flat 20,000 milliamp hour battery pack that I'll put on this side. Everything there, I want it to be flat and not really packed up too tight. So there's that side. Now on the flip side, it's a much bigger pocket. So what we're going to do is I'm putting my lubricant, my chain lube and rag all the way here on the back of the, and the bottom. So that should be right along here. Then we're going to go with, here I have some cables, batteries, batteries for the drone as well. All that in a little waterproof baggie. That's gonna go next in front of it. Drone controller, gonna go in front of that. Then all the way in the front is gonna be the actual drone itself. Then I'm gonna sneak in there. Here's just some like chamois butter. I like this instead of the actual cream because this is like a deodorant that I can actually just apply much simpler. I'm gonna squeeze that in right above here, above the chain lube. And then go ahead and close that out. You'll also notice here in the middle I've got three water bottles and here's a bike pump that just straps onto the side of the bike so that I always have a pump with me. Moving on to the back of the bike. This is where everything sleeping resides. So, all the way at the end, I put my pillow, shove it all the way down here as much as possible, as far as I can to take up this whole little square. Then, I put my sleeping bag liner, or in this case, a quilt liner, because I use a quilt. That goes, again, so right now we're about to here, packed up, and then that should all be taken up by the soft, squishy stuff. So I utilize this full thing, but then also it helps give it a nice foundation to hold the rest of the bag. Then after that, I shove in my quilt. The only thing to note about this is I get probably around halfway of the quilt in. Then I take the poles for my tent. So I have the Z-Packs Duplex. These instead of trekking poles, which I obviously don't have on a bike packing trip, I take these and shove them here along the bottom to give the bag a little bit more support. You see how it's already starting to buckle here? So this gives the bag support, and then it also finds a way to put the trekking poles all with the sleeping system. So, grab them, slide them here along the bottom. You see how already that whole little dip that was there is now gone because those are all the trekking poles there, like from here to here. Finish stuffing in the sleep quilt on top of that. Then I'm going to put my tent. This is the Z-Pax duplex that we'll be sleeping in this weekend. Then behind that, stuffing in the sleeping pad. And last, the stakes for the tent are just going to find their way in here. Now we close this back bag up. Condense that as much as we can.
There we go, back bag, done. So that's everything on the inside of the bags right? and in the bottle holders. Now, in terms of what I strap onto the outside, the main thing is I put my chair here at the bottom. So I have this little carabiner. I clip this little thing into it. There's a little loop on the chair so that in case it does fall off, it doesn't get lost. Put that over here then. I use this little volet strap, run it under the seat, then the goal is to grab the bottom of the chair here, there we go, now that's secured up here and at the bottom here, so that, that shouldn't move as long as None of this moves. Last things on the outside, the computer on the computer mount up top here. Then put the GoPro underneath that. And the last thing that works there. The only thing left to do after that is tighten up all of your straps to try and minimize how much bouncing And there you have it, time to start riding. Now stick around because tomorrow's supposed to be all rain for our first day of this trip. So it's gonna be interesting trying to get revenge while evidently the trail is getting revenge on us back. It's gonna be a formidable opponent. So stay tuned. Thank you so much to my patrons for supporting me, for allowing me to do trips like this. I want to do a whole bunch more trips like this and give you a whole lot more content that'll make you smile and get out there. So thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Hey.